Delaying VAT and self-assessment. In September 2020, the Chancellor announced new rules relating to the deferment of VAT and self-assessment. Now, if you remember, the old rules were that with VAT, there was one quarter, the second quarter, we were allowed not to pay in the second quarter of 2020, and we could pay in March 2021. And similarly, for the self-assessment, self the July self-assessment was delayed until January. So you're going to have to pay two in January. So this video then goes through the new rules and some of the risks associated with them. It really helps me if you press the like button and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. So what are the new rules? Well, with VAT, it was always a risk that having missed a payment in uh, the spring of last year, all that was going to be, have to be paid in March 2021. But in addition to that, you'd have to pay your normal VAT payments. And now that we know that the disruption caused by the virus is going to go on for well into next year, well into 2021, it's unlikely that we'll be able to pay the backlog of VAT if we couldn't pay it in the first place. So really very sensibly, they, what they've done is say that that payment, the payment that you deferred in spring of 2020, you can pay that over 11 instalments from April 2021 for the following 11 months. So effectively, you'll pay the old debt slowly over 11 months, which I think is as good as you, it, we could have expected. But he's actually set up a new trap for the self-employed. So the self-employed... You, we've already got a deferral of the July 2020 payment. So that a lot of people didn't pay that. Some people did. Well done if you did. Uh, but a lot of people didn't pay that. And they're going to pay it in January 2021. Now they're saying that not only do you not have to pay your July payment in January 2021, you also don't have to pay your normal January payment in, in January 2021. So all of your tax that you might be paying in July 2020 and January 2021 can be deferred until January 2022, which seems like an awful long way away. So in January 2022, we're going to have to pay two years worth of tax in effect. Um, now, I can only conjecture. That's what he said, that we would have to pay all that tax then. What he's done with VAT, of course, is then to smooth that out over 11 months. And I really hope that he does that with the uh, self-assessment or I can see people really struggling with it. But there is at least some help and you don't have to pay that January payment. So if you are struggling, I think that a lot of people will find that very welcome. Um, what we don't know about is, um, is corporation tax, but I guess if you're not making a whole lot of money, then you won't, be, um, you won't have a whole lot of corporation tax to pay. But there is a risk, isn't there? Um, it just worries me that people get out of the habit of uh, paying tax. I think it, if you can pay your taxes when they would have fallen due, I sort of, I have to pay them just to get my uh, my bank account into some sort of order because I, when I see my bank account I just like to think that that's money I can spend and I don't want to have two years of taxes waiting in the background to come and hit me um, in some time in 2022. So I would recommend that you do pay your taxes because getting once you get behind on your taxes getting back onto the front foot and being able to pay them on time again becomes really difficult and and can incur quite a lot of hardship um, and I think it's just important to pay your taxes as you you go along if you're at all possible because um, because uh, otherwise I've just I just have seen so many people once they get behind with their taxes they that it just has quite a big impact on their personal lives so so there we are um, the VAT very sensibly the VAT uh, payment that you didn't make in spring of 2020 you can pay over an 11 month period, thank goodness. Um, and the immediate impact of uh, the January 2021 tax payment for the self-employed, you don't have to make, you can defer it. So I'm sure that that will be 
very welcome. I'll keep you up to date with any more changes that happen. I'm sure this is still an evolving situation. Please, if, if you like the, the video, then press the like button. It really helps me. And if you want to subscribe, you'll be very welcome. Thank you.